Hello everyone, this is LOL Freddy again with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your Fallout 76 FPS issue. If you guys are running the beta on PC and you notice that the frame rates are very choppy and the gameplay itself is choppy, it's actually a problem with a uh, configuration file of the game itself. And, um, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So to get to that special initialization file, go to your file explorer. I just do Windows key E, open up file explorer right here and go to your documents. From there, search on your documents to go to my games right here. Double click on that and then find Fallout 76. Here it is. From Fallout 76, I want you guys to open your Fallout 76 preference file here, this configuration file. So double click it and it should open automatically in Notepad. If it doesn't open up with Notepad, you can select to open it with Notepad. Once you're inside of this preset or preference um, configuration file, I need you guys to look for a specific line on here. Uh, to do that easy, just hit Control F to find and type the letters I and P. I P. Once you do that, keep keep pressing enter, pass pit boy, pass pit boy, and here it is. So you see where it says I present interval equals zero. By default, this zero is going to be a one, just like here. It's gonna be a one. So what I want you guys to do is it's gonna look like this with a one. I want you guys to go ahead, press backspace on that line and put zero on it. Once you do that, we can close this out. Once you do that, you can close it, or if you're OCD like me, you can hit Control S to save. If not, when you close it, it's going to ask to save anyways. Um, just make sure you save it and close it. Once you do that, your game should run with better FPS. And what I mean by better is higher than 30 or 60, whatever it was that it was defaulting to. Um, if you guys are playing on a gaming monitor like me, it's 144 hertz. I noticed the horrible FPS right away, and it was making me kind of nauseous. Now, another, a, uh, another setting that I would like you guys to do uh, to fix if this um, configuration doesn't fix it is to go to your NVIDIA properties. So we'll go here to the system tray, here to the uh, NVIDIA, right click on it and go to the NVIDIA control panel. Once you go inside the NVIDIA control panel, it's going to open up, open up a window for you. Within this window right here, I want you guys to go to manage 3D settings. And from through your settings, you'll see you have global settings and program settings. I want you guys to go to program settings. Now from this list, it's going to populate here in a moment. Here it is. I need you guys to find Fallout 76 right here on this list. Now, if Fallout 76 is not being shown on this list for you, you can add it. And it's really simple. You click on add. And from there, you click browse. And from browse, you get to specify where the application is. So right now, the path to find Fallout 76 is this one right here. Local disk, program files 86, Bethesda.net launcher, games, Fallout 76. So I'm going to show you how to get there from, the, from the, uh, the beginning. So let's say you see this right here. You double click on local disk, go to program files 86. From there, we're going to go to Bethesda, Bethesda.net launcher. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and go to games, and Fallout 76. And here it is, that executable file. You double click on that, and it's going to load it up to your actual managed 3D settings at NVIDIA. Once it's loaded up, I want you guys to scroll all the way to the very bottom. And where it says vertical sync, by default, this is going to be on. But what I want you guys to do is click it and go to off, like I have it set up right here. So by default, it'll be on, and I want you guys to put it on off. And what that's going to do, it's going to prevent the game from locking you in to 60 FPS. So if you guys have a beautiful 144 hertz monitor or more than that, or more than 60, this is actually going to kill your FPS. So make sure that it's off. Once it's off, you can go ahead and close this out because it's going to automatically apply those settings. And once you do that, your game is going to run beautifully, buttery, buttery smooth with way better FPS than 30, 40, 60, obviously depending on your hardware, but it's going to run so much smoother and it's going to feel like Fallout 4, a smooth Fallout game the way it's supposed to be. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helps. If it helps, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'll make sure to reply back and see if it worked out for you or not. And, you know, just say, hey, I always like to see comments here and there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck in the wasteland. Bye bye.